In continuum mechanics, a material is said to be under plane stress if the stress vector is zero across a particular plane. When that situation occurs over an entire element of a structure, as is often the case for thin plates, the stress analysis is considerably simplified, as the stress state can be represented by a tensor of dimension 2 representable as a 2 times 2 matrix rather than 3 times 3. A related notion, plane strain, is often applicable to very thick members. Plane stress typically occurs in thin flat plates that are acted upon only by load forces that are parallel to them. In certain situations, a gently curved thin plate may also be assumed to have plane stress for the purpose of stress analysis. This is the case, for example, of a thin walled cylinder filled with a fluid under pressure. In such cases, stress components perpendicular to the plate are negligible compared to those parallel to it. In other situations, however, the bending stress of a thin plate cannot be neglected. One can still simplify the analysis by using a two dimensional domain, but the plane stress tensor at each point must be complemented with bending terms. Mathematical <laughs> definition <laughs> 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 Mathematically, the stress at some point in the material is a plane stress if one of the three principal stresses the eigenvalues of the Cauchy stress tensor is zero. That is, there is Cartesian coordinate system in which the stress tensor has the form sigma equals sigma 1 1 0 0 0 sigma 2 2 0 0 0 0 sigma x 0 0 0 sigma y 0 0 0 0 display style sigma equals begin b matrix sigma underscore 11 and 0 and 0 0 and sigma underscore 22 and 0 0 and 0 and 0 end b matrix equiv begin b matrix Sigma underscore x and zero and zero zero and sigma underscore y and zero zero and zero and zero and b matrix for example cons. Either a rectangular block of material measuring ten, forty, and five centimeters along the x display style x y display style y and z display style z that is being stretched in the x display style x direction and compressed in the y display style y direction by pairs of opposite forces with magnitudes 10n and 20n respectively uniformly distributed over the corresponding faces the stress tensor inside the block will be sigma equals 500 display style sigma equals begin b matrix 500 mathrm pa and 0 and 0 0 and minus 4000 mathrm pa and 0 0 and 0 and 0 end b matrix more generally if one chooses the first two coordinate axes arbitrarily but perpendicular to the direction of zero stress the the stress tensor will have the form sigma equals sigma 11 sigma 12 0 sigma 21 sigma 22 0 O O O sigma x tau x y zero tau y x sigma y O O O O display style sigma equals begin b matrix sigma underscore eleven and sigma underscore twelve and zero sigma underscore twenty one and sigma underscore twenty two and zero zero and zero and zero and b matrix equiv begin b matrix sigma underscore x and tau underscore x y and zero tau underscore Y x and sigma underscore y and zero zero and zero and zero and b matrix and can therefore be represented by a two times two matrix sigma i j equals sigma eleven sigma twelve sigma twenty one sigma twenty two sigma x tau x y tau y x sigma y display style sigma underscore i j equals begin b matrix sigma underscore eleven and sigma underscore twelve sigma underscore twenty one and sigma underscore twenty two and b matrix equiv begin b matrix sigma underscore x and tau underscore x y tau underscore y x and sigma underscore y and b matrix 
Topic: Constitutive equations. See Hooke's law hashtag plane stress. Topic: Plane stress in curved surfaces. In certain cases, the plane stress model can be used in the analysis of gently curved surfaces. For example, consider a thin walled cylinder subjected to an axial compressive load uniformly distributed along its rim, and filled with a pressurized fluid. The internal pressure will generate a reactive hoop stress on the wall, a normal tensile stress directed perpendicular to the cylinder axis and tangential to its surface. The cylinder can be conceptually unrolled and analyzed as a flat thin rectangular plate subjected to tensile load in one direction and compressive load in another other direction, both parallel to the plate. Topic plane strain strain matrix. If one dimension is very large compared to the others, the principal strain in the direction of the longest dimension is constrained and can be assumed as zero, yielding a plane strain condition, figure 7.2. In this case, though all principal stresses are non-zero, the principal stress in the direction of the longest dimension can be disregarded for calculations. Thus, allowing a two-dimensional analysis of stresses, e.g. a dam analyzed at a cross-section loaded by the reservoir. The corresponding strain tensor is, epsilon ij equals epsilon 11 epsilon 12 0 epsilon 21 epsilon 2 2 0 0 0 epsilon 33 display style var epsilon underscore ij equals begin b matrix var epsilon underscore 11 and var epsilon underscore 12 and 0 var epsilon underscore 21 and var epsilon underscore 22 and 0 0 and 0 and var epsilon underscore 30 33 end B matrix in which the non-zero epsilon 33 display style var epsilon underscore 33 term arises from the Poisson's effect. This strain term can be temporarily removed from the stress analysis to leave only the in-plane terms, effectively reducing the analysis to two dimensions. Topic. Stress transformation in plane stress and plane strain Consider a point P display style P in a continuum under a state of plane stress or plane strain with stress components sigma x sigma y tau x y Display style sigma underscore x sigma underscore y tau underscore x y and all other stress components equal to zero. Figure 8.1. From static equilibrium of an infinitesimal material element at p. Display style p. Figure 8.2. The normal stress sigma n. Display style sigma underscore mathrm n and the shear stress tau n display style tau underscore mathrm n on any plane perpendicular to the x display style x y display style y plane passing through p display style p with a unit vector n display style math bf n making an angle of theta display style theta with the horizontal ie cos theta display style cos theta is the direction cosine in the x display style x Direction is given by sigma n equals one two sigma x plus sigma y plus one two sigma x minus sigma y 
because two theta plus tau x y sin two theta Display style sigma underscore mathem n equals frac one two sigma underscore x plus sigma underscore y plus frac one two sigma underscore x sigma underscore y cos two theta plus tau underscore x y sin two theta tau n equals minus one two Sigma x minus sigma y sin two theta plus tau x y cos two theta Display style tau underscore mathem n equals frac one two sigma underscore x sigma underscore y sin two theta plus tau underscore x y cos two theta. These equations indicate that in a plane stress or plane strain condition, one can determine the stress components at a point on all directions, i.e., as a function of theta. Display style theta. If one knows the stress components sigma x sigma y tau x y display style sigma underscore x sigma underscore y tau underscore x y on any two perpendicular directions at that point. It is important to remember that we are considering a unit area of the infinitesimal element in the direction parallel to the y display style y z display style z plane the principal directions figure 8.3 ie orientation of the planes where the shear stress components are zero can be obtained by making the previous equation for the shear stress tau N display style tau underscore mathem n equal to zero. Thus we have tau n equals minus one two sigma x minus sigma y sin two theta plus tau x y cos 2 theta equals 0 Display style tau underscore mathem n equals frac one two sigma underscore x sigma underscore y sin two theta plus tau underscore x y cos two theta equals zero and we obtain tan two theta p equals two tau x y sigma x minus sigma y Display style tan two theta underscore mathem p equals frac two tau underscore x y sigma underscore x sigma underscore y. This equation defines two values theta p display style theta underscore mathem p, which are ninety display style ninety caret circ apart figure 8.3 the same result can be obtained by finding the angle theta display style theta which makes the normal stress sigma n display style sigma underscore mathrm n a maximum ie d sigma n d theta equals 0 
Display style FRAC D sigma underscore mathem N D theta equals zero. The principal stresses Sigma one Display style sigma underscore one and Sigma two Display style sigma underscore two or minimum and maximum normal stresses Sigma M A X display style sigma underscore mathrm max and sigma M I N display style sigma underscore mathrm min respectively can then be obtained by replacing both values of theta P Display style theta underscore mathrm p into the previous equation for sigma n display style sigma underscore mathrm n. This can be achieved by rearranging the equations for sigma n display style sigma underscore mathrm n and tau n. Display style tau underscore mathrm n. First, transposing the first term in the first equation and squaring both sides of each of the equations, then adding them. Thus, we have sigma n minus one two sigma x plus sigma y two plus tau n 2 equals 1 2 sigma x minus sigma y 2 plus tau x y 2 display style left sigma Underscore mathem N T F R A C one two Sigma underscore X plus Sigma underscore Y right carrot two plus Tau underscore mathem N carrot two equals left T F R A C one two Sigma underscore X Sigma underscore Y right carrot two plus Tau underscore X Y carrot two Sigma N minus Sigma A V G two plus Tau N two equals R two Display style sigma underscore mathem n sigma underscore mathem a v g carrot two plus tau underscore mathem n carrot two equals r carrot two, where r equals one two sigma x minus sigma y two plus tau x y 2 and sigma a v g equals 1 2 sigma x plus sigma y Display style R equals SQRT left TFRAC one two Sigma underscore x Sigma underscore Y right carrot two plus Tau underscore x Y carrot two quad text and quad Sigma underscore mathem A V G equals TFRAC one two Sigma underscore x plus Sigma underscore Y which is the equation of a circle of radius R display style R centered at a point with coordinates sigma a v g 0 display style sigma underscore mathrm a v g 0 
called Moore's circle. But knowing that for the principle stresses the shear stress tau n equals zero display style tau underscore mathrm n equals zero then we obtain from this equation sigma one equals sigma m a x equals one two sigma x plus sigma y plus one two sigma x minus sigma y two plus tau x y Two display style sigma underscore one equals sigma underscore mathrm max equals t frac one two sigma underscore x plus sigma underscore y plus sqrt left t frac one two sigma underscore x sigma underscore y right caret two plus tau underscore x y caret two sigma two equals sigma m i n equals 1 2 sigma x plus sigma y minus 1 2 sigma x minus sigma y 2 plus tau x y 2 display style sigma underscore 2 equals sigma underscore mathrm min equals t frac 1 2 sigma underscore x plus sigma underscore y sqrt left t frac 1 2 sigma underscore x sigma underscore y right caret 2 plus tau underscore x y caret 2 when tau x y equals 0 display style tau underscore x y equals 0 the infinitesimal element is oriented in the direction of the principal planes thus the stresses acting on the rectangular element are principal stresses sigma x equals sigma 1 Display style sigma underscore x equals sigma underscore one and sigma y equals sigma two display style sigma underscore y equals sigma underscore two then the normal stress sigma n display style sigma underscore mathrm n and shear stress tau n display style tau underscore mathrm n as a function of the principal stresses can be determined by making tau x y equals zero display style tau underscore x y equals zero. Thus we have sigma n equals 1 2 sigma 1 plus sigma 2 plus 1 2 sigma 1 minus sigma 2 cos 2 theta Display style sigma underscore mathrm n equals frac one two sigma underscore one plus sigma underscore two plus frac one two sigma underscore one sigma underscore two cos two theta tau n 
equals minus 1 2 sigma 1 minus sigma 2 sin 2 theta Display style tau underscore mathem n equals frac one two sigma underscore one sigma underscore two sin two theta. Then the maximum shear stress tau m a x display style tau underscore m a t h r m max occurs when sin two Theta equals one. Display style sin two theta equals one. I e theta equals forty five. Display style theta equals forty five carat circ. Figure eight point three. Tau m a x equals one. Two Sigma one minus Sigma two Display style tau underscore mathem max equals FRAC one two Sigma underscore one Sigma underscore two Then the minimum shear stress Tau M I N Display style tau underscore mathem min occurs when sin two theta equals minus one. Display style sin two theta equals minus one, i.e. theta equals one hundred thirty five. Display style theta equals one hundred thirty five carat circ. Figure eight three tau m i n equals minus one two sigma one minus sigma two Display style tau underscore mathem min equals frac one two sigma underscore one sigma underscore two. Topic. See also. Plane strain. <laughs>